Hello all, welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we discussed about how to register the new candidate and how to store the information into the file. Now in this video, we will discuss about how to log in as a candidate. In the previous video, we talked about register a candidate. There was one bug and the bug is what? Whenever you register the candidate, for example, if you provide the space in the name, for example, Parag Shukla, username is PC Shukla, password is, for example, PCS, Aadhaar number 1234, address, for example, Yogidam Rajkot, and suppose if you provide the qualification, for example, PhD, then the record will be inserted properly. But if you insert one more record, for example, let me insert the another record and that record is Ankit Faldu and the username is AJ Faldu, password is AJF. Now I'm writing the Aadhaar number that is, for example, 2345, address, for example, Rajkot and the qualification is MCA, then this program will not store the record and abnormal termination will happen. The reason is what? Whenever you see into this file, the record is inserted successfully. That is the first record only, that is Parag Shukla. But the second record is not inserted. Why? Because I am reading from the file and this comma is making the difference. Right? So whenever you read the percentage S, it will read the wall record. And what is the bug? How to resolve this? It is very simple. Whenever you read the data from the auto increment function and whenever you read the data from the candidate.txt file here instead of writing this percentage s we need to write like this that is percentage not comma right here you can write percentage not comma here you can write percentage not comma it means i don't want to include the comma here in a my string and at last Comma is not there, so you can write the percentages. Now you can build and run your code again. Now it is the perfect code. Whenever you run this, you can register the new candidate. For example, register candidate. Name of the candidate is Ankit Faldu, AJ Faldu. Password, for example, AJF. Aadhaar number, 2345. Address, for example, Rajkot. And the qualification is MCA then this record is inserted. You can try one more record. For example, let me register the candidate and the name of the candidate is Vivek Vyas. Username is, that is VJ Vyas and the password is, that is VJS. Other number is 3456. Address, for example, Mahua and qualification, that is MCA. Then this record is also inserted. Now you can check the data into the file. So here you can just see the data. There are three records and the password is encrypted over here. See, password is encrypted. Password is encrypted. Now I want to validate this candidate. It means that if the username and password of the candidate is correct, then I want to allow him to log in into the system. So whenever user press the option number two, that is log in as a candidate. I don't want to open this candidate menu directly. So what we can do? Simple. We can move to the case number two. That is the login as a candidate. This man, right? That is the case number two. Now I want to ask to the user that enter username and password. So I'm just declaring here variable that is character uname of 30 PWD of 30. You can ask to the user that is printf enter username. Here you can write scanf percentage s and you can get the username. Now I want to get the password. So I'm writing here enter password. Now I want to mask the password. So I'm just calling the function that is mask password and I'm passing this PWD. So what happened? This password will be masked. That is the user entering the password. Now I want to read my file. That is candidate.txt and if username and password is matched with that particular file then i want to open this menu so here you can do what you can write file pointer fp equal to f open here you can open the file that is candidate.txt in a read mode now here you can write f close off fp now i want to read the data so here we can do what simple 
we can write here that is candidate and we can declare the variable that is a c1 now i want to read from the file so we can write here one loop that is while apps can have and here we can write not equal to and of file now apps can have having three argument one is the file pointer second which control string you want to read that is the candidate id candidate name and all these things so i'm writing here that is the control string that is first is candidate id that is percentage d and that i want to read in the variable that is a c1 so i'm writing here address of c1 dot candidate id now i want to read the string and whenever you want to read the string you need to be careful what comma is counted into the string so it is not treated as a white space so we need to write here that is percentage not comma so it will not consider the comma the second string is candidate dot candidate name same we need to do for the candidate username candidate password so here we can write c1 dot username c1 dot password and then other number is there so we can write directly percentage ld and we can write here that is address of candidate one dot other number we don't need to write address over here because this name is the array this username is the array password is the array and array is a treated like address so we don't need to write the address over there now i want to write over here that is the address and at last qualification at last no need to write the comma because the last is the string and after the last string i am not writing the comma so no need to write comma there here you can write c1 dot address c1 dot qualification now all the data will be read into this variable that is a c1 dot cid name username and password so all data will be read into the c1 instance of the candidate now i want to match if the data available in the file is matching with this username and password then i want to open this menu so here we can do what we can write the condition if string comparison of that is a c1 dot username and the username that is user is providing that is uname is equal to equal to zero then we can say that username is valid but i need to check for the password also but the password is encrypted so we need to decrypt that particular password so we can call the function that is a decrypt that we created in the last video here we can provide c1 dot password and here we can provide the key my key is that is 0 x a e d so my password will be decrypted now i can match that decrypted password with the user input password so here you can write if str comparison of c1 dot password and the password that user has provided if both are same then it will be zero then we can say that the password is match if a password is match then i'm just setting the value that is match equal to one and simply break from this loop so definitely i need to declare the variable integer matched equal to zero if username and password is match with the data it means that the candidate is valid and if the candidate is valid then the value will be matched equal to one then you can write the condition here that is if matched it means that the candidate is valid i want to open this menu so let me select this and let me put the tab if match then i want to open the menu that is the candidate menu if it is not match then we will simply print the message to the user that invalid username or password try again and here we can write this lesson and at last we can write system and post so what happened if the username and password are valid then and then this menu will be open whenever this menu is open i want to welcome that particular user so i am writing here that is printf lesson 
and here you can write welcome percentage s then here you can write c1 dot candidate name so if the username and password are matched then that particular user will be welcome right you can simply build and run your code now i am getting error the error is what related to this variable you can simply cut this variable and you can declare this variable at the top of the main so here you can declare this variable once you declare this variable now you can simply build and run your code whenever you build and run your code will run perfectly now here i am getting the three option that is login as a admin login as a candidate and register candidate let me log in as a candidate now i am writing the username for example dj patel and the password is djp it says that invalid username or password let me log in as a candidate for example username pc shukla and the password is pcs says that welcome parag shukla and this is the candidate menu you can move back you can log in as a candidate for example vj vyas and you can enter the password vjs yes welcome vivek vyas you can move back now i want to register the candidate and then i want to log in the same so here you can provide the three four register candidate name of the candidate is devan patel username is dj patel password is djp aadhar number for example 4567 address you can say junagadh qualification phd record is inserted now you can log in as a candidate dj patel and you can provide the password djp it says that welcome devan patel so this is the way you can authenticate the candidate so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day